What is up, beautiful people? This is Retro Vixen, and I am back with another toy unboxing. I, uh, uh excuse me, what? Who? Oh, oh, you're expecting somebody else to be here. Oh, oh, vampire preacher. Oh, yeah, no, he got fired. There's some, some sort of, like, incident with a llama, and I don't know. I, we were, we are not allowed to talk about that, but it's a good thing you have me here because I got some Ninja Turtle action figures that are just waiting to be unboxed. Anyway, all jokes aside, if anybody recognizes these designs, this is from the original 90s Ninja Turtles movie, which I actually hold very near and dear in my heart. So I'm super excited to have these, especially since they were a gift from my loving husband for our anniversary. The first four was from our anniversary from last year. The next ones I'm going to show you, the second wave is actually an anniversary gift from this year. So I'm really excited to have these. So this one's Leonardo. If you don't, if you don't know the Ninja Turtles, I don't know why I need to intro these, but you know this one's Leonardo. Let's jump over to the hand cam. Okay, now let's see if I can open this without tearing the box up. Because I do want to preserve these. I legit almost forgot. He shows off the box too, doesn't he? Yeah, we got that. And then we got the little excerpt on the back. Okay, well this is already busting open, so I'm just gonna open this up right now. Come on, Leo. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, good lord. Oh my god, I don't want to break it. Who puts the feet through the plastic? <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And then we have, like... This is pizza, which is olive and green pepper. Which, that's some kind of detail there, let's be honest. He's got other stuff in here, too. He's got two extra hands. There's one of the hands right there. Oh my god. It like bended a little bit. I'm kind of scared of breaking it. <laughs> Oof. Oh, this is the thing for the back of his his mask. I guess. I don't know, this is not a field I'm experienced in. And his two swords. Oh, thank God. All right, so swords can actually go in here. Is that the right way? Oh, okay. I don't wanna put it in the wrong way. I think they do that on purpose because it's curved okay that's cool i like that okay so what does he do articulations and all that i like the detail though oh my god you can see the eyes i don't even know if you can see that clearly you can see the god the goddamn eyes so where the hell does this go can you take this off oh my god it's articulated eh. Wait, what is this for? Is this just like a spare? <laughs> I don't understand. Why do they have this extra thing? Eh. Is that even for here? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking... I guess so that it just looks different. I don't know. I don't want to take a risk. Maybe it's so that... Oh, so that it, it can flow the other way without problems, maybe. I don't know. That one actually fits better, so we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so first things first. The head. I don't oh my god, really. And then we're gonna go forward. Okay, down it's not it's actually better. <laughs> I tried to put it up and it didn't go anywhere. It's not even because of this thing, because it's articulated. It's out of the way. Look. That's as high as it goes. 
Oh, that's a little bit sad. Okay, arms. I, I might, if I miss anything, vamp, I, I, <laughs> let me know later. Oh no, I'm so scared. I don't want to break it. Oh, I'm not experienced with like using these, but I, is that the T-pose? Lord have mercy. I feel like this can go much, much higher. Let's take these out. I don't want to break those either. Oh no. Oh, these spin around. Oh, this spins around too, the wrist. Wait a minute. <laughs> if I do this. I'm almost positive I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's supposed to be the flex. Obviously we can't have anything on the waist because it's like it's just a shell. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I probably just did this wrong. But I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should twist this more. Is this, I don't know. I mean, he can, he can knock himself on the head pretty good, but I don't know if that counts. He just looks like he's scratching his head. Oh, well. Okay. So, legs. Oh no. I don't think these were, okay, so they look good, but I feel like they're not meant to do a wide variety of poses. I think they're just meant to do the poses that they were meant to do. Can the knees spin? They can kind of spin. Oh, they can spin. They can spin all the way around. It's just the knee pads are in the way. Seems like it's painful. Mm, feet. Like, like that. It, you know, it takes some doing, but actually... That actually works okay. Doesn't really go forward. Eh. Uh, well, yeah. How do I even show this to you? <laughs> This is so bad. It's so awful. And it can't really go in the other way either. I, I, oh wait, yeah it does. <laughs> yeah, I do. This is when Raphael kicks Leonardo's ass. <laughs> Alright, well, oh yeah, this thing where you gotta... You know, most most of this, the reason why it gets restricted the way it does is because of the pads. And I don't want to ruin these either. These are good quality, I think. But pretty much goes as far as that can go. I don't want to force it either. I already feel like I, I've done that too much. But, I mean, that's the figure. I mean, articulation-wise, I'm not that impressed by it. I don't really know how to rate something that's like completely different than how he would normally rate Marvel Legends, to be honest with you, but... I don't know, maybe somewhere between a 7 and an 8 <laughs> because the design is so good or maybe between a 6 and a 7 because the articulation is not that good. I don't know, but I'll be right back with the next one. Alright, so turtle number 2, Donatello. Right, so it looks like this didn't even have any tape on it. Either that or the tape was already cut. What? Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, there's a the front. <laughs> I think all of these pretty much come with the same thing, where it's like their weapons and their hands and then the slice of pizza. Then you have Donatello there. Donatello there. And then the little excerpt on the back. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, you can, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but like on the inside there's a little bit of the, like the sewer background. Which is pretty neat, but you can't really do anything with it because it's just, it's kind of, kind of buried in there. You can't really take it out. <laughs> Donatello has different fingers. Oh, 
Oh, for Christ's sake. I mean, I know they do that to keep it secure in there, but <laughs> come on, that's just ridiculous. Oh, Donatel also, also has an extra flap for his, uh, his mask. I don't actually know what it's for, though. I mean, it's identical. I, th I mean, the design is a little different. I want to guess maybe it's supposed to go on this side. Yep. Bow staff. Two hands. And we know the slice of pizza. I don't really think I need to take that out. Pizza time. Anyway, yeah. So I'm. That's what I'm thinking. This is for the second one, is so that if you want to do like something with his bandana on the other side, because it looks weird if you do that, because you lose some detail, because it's pretty much the back of the bandana. You can just pretty much attach that, and you get the same amount of detail that you get on the one on this side, which is cool, depending on what you want to do. So yeah, you can't really get any hip thing with any of the turtles. I don't think. I think they're all the same because they're wearing a shell. But, here's the head. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. I had to kind of force it though. I don't want to break it, but like, I kind of had to force it to do that. That's his down. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I think, honestly, even if these are all different turtles, I think they use pretty much, like, pretty much the same body for all of them. That's not very good. Nope. That is not very good at all. But. Oh, no. I mean, his arms can go up all the way, though. No, that's not good. No matter how you look at it. Maybe it's, I don't know. Oh God, I don't want to break it. And I don't think I should feel like I need to do that even if I wanted to get that. Legs, <laughs> These are supposed to be ninjas. Why can't you do a split? I mean, I know that they have like much thicker you know, thighs and calves and all that, but geez louise. That's disconcerting. What about the legs? Yeah. I mean, I accidentally did this while I was putting the leg back, so the foot's okay. And that goes about that far forward. <clears throat> side to side. Oh, inward is okay. I actually can pretty much turn the foot all the way around. <laughs> if that's not freakish, I don't know what it is. I think you can pretty much do that with Leonardo's foot too. I think, I honestly think these are all pretty similar. I don't want to seem like I'm not appreciative for the gift. I, I still love them though. I love them a lot. But I think these were just not really meant to have like that good articulation. I'm going to pose these like statues, I think. So that's Donatello. I mean, the articulation is pretty much like Leonardo's. I don't really know what else to say about it. I mean, some, some of it's good. You know, but I feel like as ninjas, they probably could have done better. I don't want to seem like I'm not appreciative for the gift. I am. But I think designs like these were not really meant to be highly articulated. But I, I mean, I love, I love the accuracy of the detail. I'm still really in love with that. Okay, so, turtle number three, Michelangelo. So, Michelangelo. When I was young, he was my favorite turtle because he was fun-loving and... You know, he was chill and he just wanted to party and I really loved that about him. He's no longer my favorite, but he's pretty much on the same wavelength as Donatello as my second favorite. So, oh, this one has the tape on it. The Donatello figure like barely had any tape at all, so I don't know. 
I don't know how they came to that decision. Like, yeah, they can lose the parts to some of the turtles, but not all of the turtles. Okay. Oh, jeez, I almost forgot. Michelangelo. He's these nunchucks right there. Ninja Turtles. The pizza, again. I'm gonna guess there's hands here and maybe another thing for his mask as well. Mikey there. Mikey there. Oh my god. It's so cute, but also creepy at the same time. And a little excerpt here about Michelangelo. It says 30 points of articulation. I mean, I don't know that much about that, but it didn't seem like 30 when I was using the other ones. I might let Vamp kind of play around with them and see if he can figure out where the rest of them are, because nope. I didn't see them. But I'm also not the one that's experienced in this, so... Come on, Mikey. You can do it. Come on! Michelangelo, I swear to God. <laughs> Probably got a concussion by now. Cowabunga! Nunchucks. Two nunchucks. Ugh. That's your part for his mask. So you can kind of get that other side going. Yeah. <clears throat> Pizza. And of course his extra hands, which are almost required to be a thumbs up. So, I mean, yeah. How else is he gonna go cowabunga? Can the nunchucks fit in these hands? See, because this is pretty much a string, this can pro- Well, actually, but that, I mean, you don't hold nunchucks like that, though. You're gonna have to hold it like that. I mean, I guess that works. Can't really hold them with this hand, though. I don't think so. <laughs> There's no opening, so... And I'm to assume that both of these hands are the same, right? Oh, God. Yeah, they're both the same. I'm not even going to take it out. And that pizza is the same olive and green pepper pizza. And apparently sausage. Okay, anyway. The head. <laughs> oh, oh, Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Oh, you can look down pretty good. None of them can really look up. You know what I noticed, too? I don't even think I ever noticed this in the movie. All of their belt designs are a little bit different, too. I mean, huh? Now that makes sense. It's pretty dependent on what kind of weapons they have, though. T posing. Oh, I mean, no. Oh, he's swiveling. Is that like, did the other turtles have this? This little swivel. But like, what can you really do with it? You can't really do anything with it. It's in the shell. All right. Well, that happened. <clears throat> For a fleeting moment. Wait a minute. Okay, so this should be turned this way, right? To flex it. Yeah, these are these are definitely like all the same body, I think, because that's what I'm getting. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. God, I heard a crack and I didn't like that, so I'm actually not gonna push it anymore. Especially since it's resisting, I don't think so. And no, I don't think so. <laughs> I do want to make one of his hands a thumbs up, just out of obligation. Eh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cowabunga and etc. <laughs> Legs. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, his legs are a little bit better actually. So maybe they're not all the same body. I thought they were. Or maybe I just wasn't doing it right. I don't know. But there's like a lot of resistance when I do it. I get really scared that I'm gonna like destroy it. But he can kind of do a split. It's better than the other two that I was able to do. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do with that, with this calf leg. Foot's pretty good. I feel like this is the easiest articulation to do with like every turtle. And I mean, this is not particularly good. But this, this is pretty good. This one won't go all the way around. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would do that, but now I won't do it. All right, well, <clears throat> that's Michelangelo. I mean, I don't really know what, what else to say about it. Other than I'm surprised that there's this going on. Because I didn't notice that with the other ones. I mean, his split is much better, but the flex isn't that good either, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Michelangelo. Okay, I'm most excited for this turtle. Last but not least, because he's my absolute favorite one. Well, currently he's my favorite one. Raphael. There's Raphael. You can see his, uh, his size there. The pizza, the hands, and I'm going to assume his mask thingy is down there. Yeah, there's Raphael. Oh my gosh, he's, he looks so, like, intimidating in this picture. And there's the little thing on the back. Oh, Raphael, Raphael. And see, now I'm thinking about <laughs> the end credits song to the 90s Ninja Turtles movie. Which, actually, they made a huge mistake in it. They actually claimed that he was the leader when he's actually not. He is the old- I believe he is the oldest, but, I mean, that tends to switch depending on which canon you look at. Heck, in Rise of the Ninja Turtles, Raphael is the leader, but... I don't know, I don't agree with their decision to, to do that. Yeah, Leonardo has always been the leader. Raphael's pretty much- they're, I mean, I think they're pretty much on equal footing, and I've always believed that the reason why they have the rivalry is because they're both competing for that spot. <sighs> so now Raphael, he's got these extra hands, and it looks like he's supposed to be pointing. But, he's the only turtle that I would believe actually would give you the middle finger. I only took one Psy out, <laughs> just because I don't think it's, it's kind of pointless to take out both of them. But, I noticed something different with the coloring here. I always thought that his Psy was silver all the way through, and then only black on the handle. Maybe I'm just not remembering it correctly, but I just, I just don't remember it looking like that. So, that's interesting. Alright, so there's a little mask piece. Yeah, I, I do like that they provide this so that even if you were to turn it, it doesn't look bootleg. Okay, this is another thing. What? Raphael's able to move here. What is this? I don't even remember Michelangelo being able to do this. Oh, that's weird. You can see inside though. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Anyway, the head. Yeah. And down is actually not as... I mean, it's better. I feel like it's not as good as the other turtles, though. Unless you move the body down. I do not like this. Was this with the other turtles, too? But yeah. This belt is different, too. It's actually similar to Mikey's, whereas Leonardo and Donatello have the little strap. Ow! Oh my god, that's so painful. This is so sharp on the wrist. Okay, so that's the T-pose. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. Come 
on, Raphael. Come on, Raph. Uh, I'm kind of... I don't, out of all the turtles, the Raphael really should be the one to have the good flex. Legs. Oh wait, gotta do this first, right? Move the arms out the way. Eh. All right, so Raphael can pretty much do the splits, almost. Can I do it more? No, I can't. That's pretty much it. I mean, but he's probably got the best flexibility. I don't know why this one can go higher and this one I can't. I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That's as far as this leg can go. Yeah. The foot. The foot is good. I'm so scared of popping it out, but that's as far as it can go forward. And then, I mean, this way is good. I don't know why these ones are, this one can just fucking spin all the way around. Look at that. All right, well, I'm surprisingly impressed that out of all the turtles, Raphael has the best leg flexibility, but why doesn't he have like the be best like arm flexibility? And this, this right here is bothering me so much. I think as long as I keep him back, I shouldn't notice anything. Okay, no, it's gonna bother me unless I, t I have to look, I need to know. Okay, so they all have this back piece. I must have just not have noticed it before. <laughs> but like still, this whole thing, like what's even the point of having it if you can't, you know, whatever. Anyway, so that was all four turtles. Next we have Master Splinter, who is the father of the turtles and is really not much more than a sweet old man and I love him and I'd keep him as a pet if I could. But yeah, he comes with a pizza. He comes with a canister of ooze, which I find really interesting. We got Splinter here. We got Splinter there. And a little excerpt on the back. And you know, even though I love Splinter to pieces, I feel like I wish they would have come up with more pieces to put in here, but at the same time, it's like, what could you put in here with Master Splinter? Alright. Oh, this is cloth. Okay. Well, that's neat. I guess it's supposed to give more of that authentic feel because we you know Splinter dressed up in this all the time. I'm gonna be honest though. <laughs> I feel, I'm not really in love with it. Like, it just seems like it's just a piece of cloth that somebody tore up. And while that is actually what he wears, something like this I feel like can get damaged very, very easily. Well, alright. I mean, he can't hold these. There's no extra hands. I don't even think he can hold the pizza this way. head. Oh, he looks pretty good. I think that's also mostly due to the actual design because I think his head kind of comes out a bit. But he doesn't look down too good. It's just, just kind of like that. He's just looking forward. So that's good. That's not. Not really a T pose either. I think it's just really meant to be. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna end up 
pulling his arm out, but I could probably do this. Where he has his arms out. I mean, once again, I can I can push it, but it won't stay. I don't know what Vamp's standard is. I know he likes to have it all the way, but I don't think he would accept something like this. Even if you can push it back, it just kind of goes back. And I'm I'm sure these can twist, but I'm not about to take off the whole cloth. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm curious. Can he twist? He can. Oh my gosh. Can't go back and forth though. Well, I mean just a little bit. Just a little bit, but not really enough to impress me. Is the tail articulated? Okay, wait a minute. This is troubling, cause like if you want to stand up splinter, this tail is gonna get in the way. Cause you can't move it. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know how they expect us to pose him. I mean, the tail could probably use as a balancing thing, but it just kind of pushes off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, well, <laughs> next, I guess. Ugh. can do a good split. Okay. You know, that's not fair though, because his leg is like really skinny right here, so he can do that. If it wasn't for this part of the leg, he could probably go even farther. Yeah, same with this. He's got really skinny legs, so he can pretty much do whatever he wants with his feet. It doesn't go forward, though. I mean, I can press it in, but it's not going to stay like that. Hmm. Can't twist him either. Oh, maybe you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Hmm. But not, not well, I don't think. Oh, wait a minute. The toes can twist, though. The toes can twist. All the way to upside down. That's very scary. Alright, let's clothe him before... I get weird furry comments. You dirty rat! Mm. Woo <laughs> and honestly, I feel like I tied this better than it originally was. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's Splinter. I mean, just when I was starting to think they actually really improved on on his articulation, like, because he's such a different, different model, that he could do stuff that nobody else could, but this tail is honestly kind of ruining it. Because what are you supposed to do with it? Like, he can't stand and have this tail just just like that. I don't know. But. Got just a couple more to go, so. Let's see what's next. So I got four of these motherfuckers. I, I didn't think I needed all four of them. I'm gonna guess that Vamp is actually using these for his own setup because they do look just like generic ninjas and they kind of work. But I'm just gonna be unboxing one because it really makes no sense for me to unbox all of them. I think the only difference between them is maybe there's a slight difference in weapons. I'm gonna unbox this one because I really like that weapon in there. It looks really cool. So we have this side, the front, which you can see the weapon, you can see the ninja, you can see there's a couple of hands in there too. Just foot ninja there, foot ninja there, and then the excerpt. 
Alright. There's our ninja. Oh, that's just a pain in the ass. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, there's a foot soldier. Oh my gosh, they did the same thing with the side that they did with the nunchucks. One each package. So like one ninja can have two. If you buy multiples. That's how they get you. You got different hands here. Oops, where'd that go? Oh my god. So this can fit in there. This cannot. You have to kind of work it in there. Okay, well, I guess it can kind of fit. Yeah. And same thing with the, the mask. I mean, here's the thing. This looks pretty the same on both sides. I don't really think it needed this extra piece. But it's good in case you lose it. Because we've seen how easily it can... It can pop off. as we've seen here today. <laughs> Let's put that back in there. Anyway, here's the head. Okay, you can look up pretty good. That's not bad. Looking down. I mean, I guess it's because of the way the shoulders are. I mean, you really can't do anything with it. Even doing it this way. It's pretty much the best you can get. Oh god. See, the thing is, I pressed it down because it's plastic, but it doesn't stay like that, so I don't even think that counts either. Sorry, good Flexians. I don't... I don't feel comfortable keeping it pressed down like that when it just opens back up. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Ay ay ay. But we've seen the effort. Can you do something with the waist? Oh cool. So you can twist it. I mean I have crunches. Is that what they call it? Ab crunch? Mm. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. Can we do a splits? I think that's what we can do with the splits. Oh wait, I forgot to see if these could twist. Yeah, these can twist. The wrist, oh, the wrist twist too. Okay, well that's all right. I don't know, <laughs> just because of the way the mask is, this just looks kind of weird on the neck because of that ball joint. Okay, leg, oh, oh. Okay, that one's good. I think this is good. Actually, the thing is I had to force it. It's really stiff right here. Put some oil in that. I'm so scared I'm gonna break it. I can't even pull it back. Oh god. I didn't like that at all. Just the toe. Okay. Really? <laughs> I don't know. But going back is okay. You can do ballet. You can do all the ballet. 
Japanese twist. I mean, yeah. When they get their asses kicked, that could work for a broken leg, I guess. Can these go side to side? Yeah. Yeah, they can go side to side. Well, it can go to one side, can it go to the other side? Yeah. It can. Well... I mean, the foot soldier turned out to be better than the actual turtles themselves, but I'm still not... I don't know. I don't... I don't... I'm not... I feel like I've seen... I've seen better, but I don't know how NECA's line normally is. I don't really have anything to compare it to. But it is better than the turtles, and for that I'm grateful. What is a soft? Oh, it's like soft. But it, you know, I feel like it could be better. But they'll work for what they need to be used for. I mean, I'm not putting them in any graceful or, in, you know, any complicated poses, so. Almost forgot, this actually comes with like a little sword, too. And this was the one thing that I noticed at first. I don't know why I didn't <laughs> go back to look at it. Although I'm kind of curious. There's a slot here for a Psy. I wonder if, like, if that was intentional because they knew they'd be putting in two Psy. Or if one was actually just missing. Hmm. I don't know about that, but it seems a little weird. Last but not least. <laughs> so. As we all know, Shredder is the big bad enemy in the Ninja Turtles. He is, um, his secret identity is Orokusaki, which I don't even know if he really cares that it's a secret or not. Everybody just kind of knows who he is. Let's take a look at what we have with the box. There's, oh, the knife. I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna have to take a look at what that is. I can't even really see it because it's black. But yeah. Um, we have the shredder here. I don't know if there's any extra parts. Can't really see if there is. There is an extra hand at least. Two extra hands that I can see. So we have, you can see the shredder there. You can see the shredder there. And then the little excerpt on the back. Wait a minute, are these poses the same or different as the last box? Okay, I was gonna say, somebody must have had some fun posing these all differently. But I feel like the stuff that's here, they can't actually do. Or maybe that was all that they could do and that's what they took a picture of. Yeah, whatever. Oh! I'm gonna take this! Oh my god, I'm Oh no. Oh no. Why? Because you took another, another tray. Oh, what a bad idea. Oh no. Why did they take it? All right. I see a lot of trash that needs to be thrown away. This was his weapon. Pointy. Okay. But I can't put these in his hands. Maybe they go with the other hands. Because his fists are closed here. Okay, so he has four hands. These two others are... Oh, maybe this one can go in here. No. Eh, eh, eh. That doesn't really fit very well, because this is going to expand. It's going to have a hard time getting in there. So what are the, what's the open hands for? I mean, I get, I get it. So why do we have hands without claws? Okay, this- Ow! Oh my god, that was awful. 
Okay, so, you know, I'm thinking about the end of the movie when he starts charging at Splinter. Like, that could be a good pose. Maybe, I don't know. Where this, he's holding it with this hand and then with this hand he's got, he's kind of resting it on this hand. Okay. So I can mix and match if I wanted. So this one has a claw. I think both of his hands should have claws. This is kind of painful to put together because I'm pressing my fingers against these right here. Oh my God, they're sharp. <laughs> all right, Shredder, you're our last hope. <laughs> Please have good articulation. Can you take the mask off? You can. <gasps> it's Arokusaki. Eh. Yeah. That's Arokusaki. And they even left, they even like molded the scar onto his face. That splinter left. That's cool. I'm going to leave this off in the meantime because I want to see if it affects the articulation. Okay, this collar moves around in a weird way too. I don't know. <laughs> this is this is cloth right here. I think. Yeah, that's cloth. Okay, so for the head. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be able to go far back because look at this right here. I was not expecting that to go far back at all. It can look up a little bit, but like that's it. Much better looking down. Oh my god, that's so painful. <laughs> okay. He can twist his arms and his wrists all the way. T pose? Oh no. <laughs> it's so like, these are so painful. I can't even like pull these out without being poked. Come on, Shredder. Ugh. Okay. Because he's supposed to be the big bad, you know? I mean, you'd think he would be probably the most, you know, most powerful, most flexible, most agile. But I am already in my pajamas. And I, I'm not really saying that. Let's spin this. Maybe, can we do the thing? Wait a minute. This is so painful to do. I like, I'm not even kidding. <gasps> ah! Oh, this can come off too. Okay, well, let me, let's see. Eh. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting much because of this. <laughs> I, I really wasn't. But, you know. Do we really see anybody from the Ninja Turtle universe doing this? Not really. I'm gonna leave that off for the meantime. I'll put it back on later. Like this, the gauntlet. Okay. Whew. Legs? Oh wait, before that. He can twist. He can twist good. This is how far forward he can go on the waist. Ab crunch, is that what y'all call it? See, this is sharp too. It's hard to really pose him. Like, at all. You can go back okay. Yeah. It's like he's dodging a bullet. <laughs> Legs. Oh wait, does he have a swivel too? That's like barely, barely a swivel. I think that's just loose. I mean, the split is pretty good. 
Yeah. She's like, what the? Yeah. Fuck? Yeah. Wish I could take this piece off so I could bend his goddamn leg. Oh, I can spin the, the knee. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push my luck. Ooh! That one took some some pushing. I'm scared to break it. But I think this is pretty good actually. It just it's just kinda stiff. Yeah. Then try to get it back. Eh! At the toe. And then front. I mean, I can't really get it to go front without it twisting to the side. I mean, I guess that's fine. That's as far as it goes, I think. And then you can twist it. Back this way, and actually, you can spin it all the way around. Oh well. I'm gonna put the gauntlet back on. Then I'm gonna put this fist on. I'm not sure this is the correct fist. Because your thumb doesn't go on the outside. Ow! The peg hurt. Maybe I'll just do this. We'll just do that. Put the mask back on. Alright. Last but not least, let's actually get this cape on. See how it looks. Fabulous cape. Just like in the movie. It's so reflective. I do like it. Okay. Now how do I get this on? I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to get this cape on. But he's just gonna look fancy. Actually, I hooked it around one of the spikes on his, uh... No, let me not do that. <laughs> oh my god, Shredder, you were so gaudy in the 90s. Who told you to dress this way? <laughs> I didn't hook it all the way because I'm just I'm gonna be taking it off anyway. Maybe it's supposed to hook on another color. I don't actually know. I'm gonna have to look. I think it hook just hooks to itself, judging by the hooks here. But again, not gonna bother because I'm gonna put it back in the box anyway. But yeah, that's the shredder. <sighs> Honestly, I'm gonna say wear protective gear while trying to pose him because there's a lot of like little sharp pieces. That's really hard to avoid if you're trying to pose them a certain way. And I'm really nervous about like this, these like tearing up the cape. I guess that's, the, that's what this is for. It's, it's a, it seems like it's a different layer. I guess it's for <laughs> maybe it's to protect the cloth. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just guessing. So it doesn't get caught. I almost forgot. Okay, I still don't know what this what this rod is. I don't know. I think it goes to the end of a weapon, but I don't know which weapon it goes to. Does it go here? <laughs> it looks like it goes to the end of a sword, doesn't it? Oh! Oh, it's a sheath to this! Okay. That took me way too long to figure out. And actually, I don't even know where you would put it. I don't actually know where you'd put this. 
There's like no real spot for it. Mm, whatever. Anyway, that's the shredder. <laughs> All right, so that is the entirety so far of the 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie wave. Um, I heard there was gonna be a Casey Jones coming out, fingers crossed, I'm really excited to have that because I just I just wanna add to the collection. But I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the last unboxing I'm ever going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this to vamp. If you wanna catch me live, it's twitch.tv slash RetroVixen. I hope you all have a good day, stay safe, stay sanitized, keep it nerdy, and Happy April Fool's Day. Bye-bye.